Welcome to Foundations. Let's start the lesson reviewing our trick words. So we have the word, and baby echoes out, so that means when I put the word down, it's your turn to say it. I will wait, and then I will repeat what it is after. So here we go. What's, what are you and baby echo going to say? What's this word? Great. If you said the word and, awesome. How about this word? A, wonderful. How about this word? Of, nice job. This word? The, you got it. How about this word? Is, and if I put an H in front of it, it becomes his. Beautiful. Good work. All right, so a few lessons ago, I introduced you to the word of the day, and the word of the day was the word fix. And we put the word fix in our vocabulary section of our student notebook. Okay, uh, we also wrote a sentence with the word fix. So today I'm gonna give you a new word of the day. And the new word of the day is quit. So if we were to tap out the word quit, remember the Q and U are together. So you don't tap out the Q and then the U. Q, U comes together. They make this, they make one sound, they make two sounds, but we tap them one time. So qua, left hand, sorry, qua, I, t, quit. So qua sounds like it has two sounds, but it only gets one tap because Q and U come together. So here we go. Qua, I, Quit. Good. You do it. Qua, it, quit. You got it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a sentence for the word quit. So you can come up with your own sentence or you can use my sentence. Uh, let's see. What's an easy sentence to write? Um, how about... I cannot quit. So we've got I can not, and then the word quit. Qua, qua, see, Q, U comes together. Qua, I, t, period at the end. I cannot quit. So what you're going to do is you're going to get out your student notebook. You're going to go to the vocabulary section and look for the letter Q. So vocabulary section's in the middle. And we're looking for the, for the M-N-O-Q-R. M -N O P Q. Whoops, I went too fast. We're looking for the Q U. So there it is, Q U. See? P Q U. So on the bottom of page 54, so here's 54, here's Q U. On the other page, there's two more Q U's, but we want to go with the very first Q U we, we see. Very few first qua Q U that we see. Okay? So we're going to write this, I cannot quit. And we're gonna write the word quit on the first line. So I'm gonna put my plastic sleeve here so you can watch me do it. You're going to do this as well. Again, if you don't want to write my sentence, that's fine, but you do have to write a sentence here, okay? Here we go, so I'm gonna write the word quit. Q is a plain line, grass line, way down to the worm line with a hook or with a tail. Not a hook, a tail. Hook would be a G, a tail is a, is a Q. With the Q, we have a U, so whenever you have a Q, you instantly have a U. I, I, and then T, T. Okay, so there's the word quit. Now I have to write my sentence. So if I write my sentence so big that it can't fit on the first line, then I can go to the second line. That's what those two lines are for. So your sentence can either be on one line or you can reach it out to two lines. You must put spaces between your words though. 
So I want to make, make sure that you're putting spaces between your words so I can read it. I, capital I, because it's the beginning of the sentence, can, you notice I'm using my lines, right? Can is all plain line, grass line letters. I can not, notice my spaces between my words. I could probably fit quit here, but I'm not going to because I want it to look nice and neat. And I'm practicing my letters, so I'm going to put it down here. So I cannot quit. So qua -i -t, punctuation at the end. So the word quit, and then the sentence, I cannot quit. All right, you're going to post this to Seesaw when you're done. So make sure that um, you write it nice and neat so that I can see it. All right. Again, the word and the sentence. When you're all done with the video, you can post it to Seesaw. All right. Again, um, let's see. Let's tap out some. I'm going to take this away. Let's tap out some uh, words. So I'm going to put down three words, and we're going to tap it out with our left hand. So let's start with the word... Grab the letters really quickly here. Here we go. Even if you know this word, I want you to tap it out. So, m, e, x. Oh dear, that's just like the Q U sound. It has two sounds, but it gets one tap. Did you hear that? Let's try it again. M, e, x. One tap. Mix. Good job. That's awesome. It's just like. The qu sound it sounds like it has two sounds, but it only gets one tap. All right, let's do the next word. Uh, here we go. Let's tap it with our left hand. K -i -d. Kid. Again. K -i -d. Kid. Beautiful. Nice job. One more. Um, here we go. Left hand. Y -a -s. Yes. Again. Y -a -s. Yes. You got it. Nice work. Awesome. Okay, we're going to finish our lesson today by getting out our whiteboard. Oh, hmm. Yeah, because you wrote it in your book. So erase. I'm going to erase my board because you're going to write. You wrote it in your book. So you're, you're good. I was thinking, oh, no, how are you going to take a picture? Okay, here we go. So I'm going to dictate three sounds. So we're going to put our, our letters up here for the three sounds, one sound in each box. Then I'm going to say um, two or four words. So I think we can put one word here, one word here, one word here, one word here, and then we're going to try to fit one sentence on the bottom. Okay? So I'm going to dictate. I'm going to say it, and then I want you to write which, what I say. That we, what we're, why we're doing this is we're practicing for the unit test So in their assessment. So at the end of our unit, I will say letters and words, and your job is to write it in your book. Okay, we kind of did this in the first unit. But you are going to write letters and words, and then you're going to write sentences in the, in the second unit. And it's coming up pretty quick. So that's why we keep practicing. We end, our, we end our lessons practicing this, okay? All right, so really quickly, the first sound is qua. We just talked about this sound. Qua. Might sound like it's two sounds. It might get two taps, but it only gets one. Qua. If you wrote this, Q U, great job. What about the sound J? J. If you were writing J, good job. How about the sound K? K. There's that other sound I talked to you about in this lesson. 
sounds like it gets two taps. It sounds like two sounds. It's really only one tap. If you wrote the letter X, nice job. All right, our first word is gap. I want you to tap it out. G, A, P, gap. Now I want you to write it. You should be writing G, A, P, gap. Nice. Next word is did. D, I, D, did. Go ahead and write it. D, I, D. Nice. If I'm going too fast, pause the video. My next word is his. I'm going to try to put it here. If you need to space it out, you go ahead and do it your way. Okay, whatever's going to, just remember we have a sentence to go on the bottom. Hopefully we can make it fit. All right, his. I, s, his. Here we go. I, s, his. Last word. Um, let's see, what could my last word be? How about, how about wig? What? I, g. Notice I forgot to tap it out, so I hope you tapped it out. Wa, I, g, wig. All right, here we go. Now we have our sentence. Dad got a box of gum. Dad got a box of gum. So, Dad, we can tap that word out. D, A, D. Dad got G, A, T, got A, box, B, A, K, S. What's that letter? K, S. Dad got a box of gum g a m mm. punctuation at the end so if you ran out of of room feel free to erase a couple of your words if you were able to fit it on then you can leave it the way it is dad got a box of gum let's circle our our trick words circle them so you should be circling a and of. Okay, now if we were to scoop this up, how would you scoop it up? Let me read it to you. Dad got a box of gum. So did you hear that? Dad got a box of gum. So if this word was here, it'd be all scooped up. Okay, so post the word quit with the sentence to seesaw and post what you could fit on this board to seesaw, okay? I believe the next time will be a, a, uh, the assessment. So we will have two days of no foundation so that I can give you the assessment at school. Have a great day.